Hey everybody, Jeremy Blanton with 210 Consulting, and today I want to feature one of my new favorite plugins that I really enjoy using on some of my clients' sites. It's called Max Buttons, and I actually use their pro version, Max Buttons Pro. But what it allows you to do is create quick uh, call to action buttons for your site that can have a little bit of animated effect to it. Um, so, as you'll see, here's some on the side, and as we hover over them, in this case, they're changing colors. Uh, what's beautiful with it is that with a simple couple clicks, you can make them all kinds of shapes and sizes. So I want to show you how you make them and then how once you have that design in place you can duplicate it quick and easy. So here's the plugin and how it looks in the back end of a WordPress site. And you can see here's two that's already been made. But say we want to create a new one. So we just simply would click the add new button. You fill in your basic information in these first top boxes. And then if you want it to link somewhere, you can simply do that too. So we're going to just create one here to just google.com for fun. If you want to make it that when they click on it, it opens in a new window, you can. What's beautiful then is this next segments, as you begin to design your button in the layout and sizes and colors and all that, you're going to see in real time your button start to be built here on the right. So the first section, you simply set your width as to what you'd like it to be. The next section, you set your height. You then can type in whatever you want it to say on the button. You set your font and you'll see there's your basic ones and then there's also a lot of the Google web fonts and so we'll just go with that one today. Um, you can then also change the size however big you'd want it to be. Um, there's all kinds of stuff with that. You want it to be normal or italicized, the height. Um, there's also then some beautiful ways to just add some padding. So maybe we don't want that text to be quite so high, to close to the top. We can add a little bit in. You can also add then your second line of, of text as well. And you can also, once again, set its font. So maybe you want something a little different, uh, maybe not the same kind of style or whatever, however you'd like it to be. Um, then as you move down, if you want, you can also add an icon. As I showed in the first example, you'll notice we have these little images that are showing on the left. To do that, simply make a transparent PNG style of your image and save it, and you would just upload that image in this icon section. Once again, you can set its padding however you want it to be, the position on the left of the text, to the right, above, below, however you want it to be. The next segment down then, is where you can set the rounded corners. So if you want to have it kind of be just straight, very square, you can set it to zero. Or maybe you want to make a button that has a really cool effect to it and has very rounded. Well, in that case, that might be a little much, but you know, we could set it for a little bit like that. Then you have your next section. Well, let's make that one the same at 45 and set the other one to zero. And so you can make all kinds of styles of buttons. As you go on, you then set your colors, your text shadows, the gradient start. And so the first row is what color do you want that shows up on the screen? The second one is what do you want when somebody hovers over it? You can change those. There's a whole color wheel right here to change them to whatever you'd like it to be. You can make it a gradient start where it has a start and a bottom. And so you can see how quick you can really start to customize these buttons. Once you're done setting all the rest of your settings the way you want it to be, you simply hit save and it's going to create the short code for you. And just like with any other plugin that's out there in WordPress that uses short codes, you simply take this short code, copy and paste it anywhere that you'd like it to show within your site. So that's how easy and quick it is to make these buttons. Now, like I was saying, once you've created one and have it in place, you are able to also go back in and just copy to make a new one. So when we look at the buttons that are inside this site, you will see there are two of them here and maybe we just want to make another one of these that's just a contact me button that matches. You can simply hit the copy over here on the right and then you just change the text to be what you want. And change your link to where it goes. So maybe we just have this go to the contact page. Everything else we want to keep the same. Obviously change your text here. And everything else you leave simple the same. You hit save. And we've now created an additional button with a new max button ID code. You simply paste this in wherever you want, like I said, and you've now added another one. So check out Max Buttons, really cool plugin, like I said, really enjoy using it, and hope it helps you with your WordPress sites.